Hey, Charles Hoffman here from Plugin Alliance. The BetterMaker C502V is a 500 series VCA hardware compressor with three compression algorithms and a mid side matrix. With the release of the BetterMaker C502V plugin, you can add this compressor's snappy and punchy character to your DAW. To demo the plugin, start a free Megaplan trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. The C502V has the common controls you'd expect on a VCA compressor like threshold, mix, attack, release, and ratio. However, it offers three different processing modes. BM, which is the most gentle and intended for drum buses and your stereo bus. SG, inspired by a classic British VCA bus compressor. And DX, which delivers an aggressive American style of compression. You also have a sidechain high pass filter to keep the compression tight and punchy. What's interesting is that you can apply a different compressor to each channel, whether that's the left and right channels or mid and side channels. To visualize the compression applied, there's a large waveform display. Let's listen to some audio examples and then walk through the plugin's features. Threshold sets the level at which gain reduction occurs. The lower you set this, the more gain reduction gets applied. This meter in the center indicates how much gain reduction is occurring. Ratio controls how much gain reduction is applied to the sound when it exceeds the threshold level. 1.5 will lead to light compression, while 6 will lead to heavy compression. There's also this 1 to 2 ratio that results in dynamic range expansion rather than compression. Attack controls how quickly gain reduction is applied when signals jump above the threshold. Smaller values lead to more responsive compression, while longer values allow more transient material to slip through. Release controls how quickly gain reduction stops being applied when the signal drops below the threshold level. Small values will help avoid pumping effects, but can start to lose character and flavor, so it's a bit of a balancing act. Generally, you want to use a fast attack and release to control overly transient drums, and slower settings for sounds like pads and soft pianos with less transient content.
There's also an auto release feature that automatically sets the release time based on incoming audio content. The mix knob lets you adjust the blend between the dry, unprocessed signal and the wet signal affected by compression. You can use it to apply parallel compression within the plugin. Below there's a sidechain high pass filter that rejects low end from the compressor's sidechain circuit. This makes the compressor ignore low end frequencies which typically take longer to decay than top end frequencies. If you're experiencing unwanted pumping effects, engaging the sidechain filter can lead to tighter and more controlled compression. If you'd like to use an external sidechain signal to duck a bass out of the way of a kick, just click the external sidechain button. You can audition the external sidechain signal using the audit button. BM is the gentlest of the three compression algorithms. It's intended for group processing and mastering. This mode will serve the widest range of purposes, so it makes sense that it's the default mode. SG mode is based on a classic British VCA bus compressor, offering a smooth, glue-like quality. It sounds punchy and polished, making it great for pop, rock, and EDM. DX mode has a gritty and aggressive tone. In this mode, the attack and release parameters are fixed, making it the easiest to use. There's a total harmonic distortion knob that adds subtle distortion to your sound that sounds amazing on vocals and guitars, helping to push them to the front of the mix. This output gain control applies a static gain adjustment post-compression, allowing you to make accurate A-B comparisons. When you click the double panel button, a second compressor appears. Linking the channels mirrors settings based on the last compressor you touched. For example, if I adjust the ratio on this compressor and then click link, the opposite compressor will inherit this one's settings. There's a small waveform display that you can use to quickly monitor the sound but there's a larger display available if you click on the waveform button. You're able to adjust the height of the waveform and the scroll speed. Toggling the compressor into mid-side mode allows you to process the mids and sides separately rather than the left and right channels. You can audition the mids, sides, left channel, right channel, and left and right channels summed to mono. To rescale the size of the GUI, you can either click and drag the bottom right corner, or use the drop down menu in the top left. There's presets, undo and redo buttons, and four parameter banks. You can copy the settings from one bank to another, make changes, and toggle between banks without losing your work. To clear a bank, just click reset. To demo the plugin, start a free mega plan trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. If this video helped you out, give it a like and subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.